Hey buddy, it's Invictus. Time to run near the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance series. Happy Thursday, Mosh Pit. I hope your weeks have been going awesome and you've been enjoying the new year here in 2024. We did have another video from last week that crossed 3,000 likes, which now puts us at 218 over 240 for the TM Trainer Run. Oh, baby. Thank you all very much for making it possible. Here's your screenshot of the day. This one got a, genu a genuine chuckle out of me sent in here by Sakode 2 g or Sakode 2 g Either way, they just said, thanks, question mark. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's quite the birthright start, I got to say. I mean, like, looking at those, if you had to pick, like, between Sister Maggie, Sister Maggie, or Ocular Rift, honestly, I'd go with probably Sister Maggie, I'm just saying. Because uh, at least you get a little bit of extra damage there. You don't have to worry about Ocular Rift sucking everything towards Isaac. But, I don't know, I I'm curious what you picked on that one. Let me know in the comment down below, uh, Sakode. Oh boy, Pogatory start and the D in Fizzle. Uh, Victor X Ray 2 Papa, X Ray X Ray Papa Golf. We've got uh, great movement speed to start with anyway. Uh, kind of okay tiers, I guess. Good, uh, Great damage, good uh, shot speed as well. And we're starting off with Pogatory. I mean, oh, and a random Soul Heart just came out of here out of nowhere. I'll take it. The D Infinity, of course, will literally do any of the die effects, including the D20, D6, D4, D100, D8. D10, D12, all the kind of good stuff. So, like, for example, if we if we just we needed a D6, we could do that. And Lazarus' rags, eh, maybe, maybe. Um, one of the unsung heroes uh, and one of the best, in my opinion, effects of the D-Infinity is, of course, the D12, because obviously if you have a bunch of rocks in the room and you happen to have a full charge, you can turn them into, you know, money, you can turn them into soul heart, turn them into soul hearts, all that kind of good stuff. And honestly, I just think it's a it's a super it's a super versatile item that is kind of like a Swiss Army knife of of whatever you need it to be. If you need to reroll your character, go for it. If you're brave enough to reroll your stats with a D8, go for it. But you know, the majority of people are probably going to use the D Infinity for character for um, uh, pedestal rerolls. Now, this is a great this is a great example. Of what I was just talking about with the D12 in here, though, because like, yeah, we could go back and take Lazarus's rag, which we're probably going to end up doing. Uh, because this is a very high value room. This is very, very huge. Lots of rocks, lots of potential for good stuff, including tinted rocks, including uh, fool's gold, you know, pots, that sort of stuff, crawl spaces. All that kind of jam is is possible in this room. So we definitely want to get in there. Let's start off with Ragman. And of course, the uh, Soul of Bethany is going to help us out. We could just do some contact damage like that. You know, we don't really care too much about saving the Wisps. As long as we're getting damage out of them, that's all I care about. As long as they're not, like, dying for nothing, essentially. There we go. Now it goes Ragman. I will absolutely take some movement speed and range. And uh, let's go back. Is there a three-cent bomb in here? There's not. Okay. <coughs> so we just need to clear one more room, and we'll have the D12 roll. Um, of course, there's no, of course, no full charge we can get in here. Right? So, yeah, that really sucks. Really sucks. All we needed was just one more combat room, and we would have gotten a full charge. Uh, I am going to take the... I'm going to take lots of his rags. The only hope is that there's a there's a fight in here, which is probably not. I mean, yeah, we could take a pill and maybe get 40 out of energy, but I'll never find out. So that's unfortunate because this is a huge room, but there's going to be other opportunities, so it's not that big of a deal. It's just a little bit, a little bit of a, of a party pooper there, being one short. Uh, but we got Lazarus. Oh, man, this is a double tinted rock, too, right here. Uh, maybe? And Curse of the Blind. Yeehaw. So going on over to last week's question of the episode, what are your thoughts on Mega Cac? That, of course, was the uh, ultimate Ipecac episode that we had a lot of fun with. And uh, the most upvoted comment came in from Egg with Legs 54 who said, big damage, good, self-damage, bad, which is true. Um, that's the biggest thing about having uh, Mega Blast plus Ipecac, obviously, or really just anything. anytime you have Ipecac. It's, you're you're going to be your own worst enemy. And uh, that was certainly no exception there, as we did hit ourselves quite a few times. But it wasn't lethal, and, uh, you know, the majority of the run was just absolutely hard carried by Mega. 
And uh, that, I mean, that's that's just its MO, right? Like, that's what it's there for. Um, you get Mega, you're going to get carried. You know, some people don't like it. It's, I have no problem with Mega. I mean, I, I love I love the fact that it can just blast you through an entire level. Uh, if you if you have good mapping, that is. And, uh, you know, you still have, <laughs> still have enough damage left over to just also yeet the boss and just keep on going. It's not... It's not self-perpetuating, but it's almost self-perpetuating, especially if you end up getting something like car battery, et cetera, et cetera. Or not car battery, but uh, jumper cables. Um, second most self-funded comment came in from the Gotini, who said, big boom, big good. Yep. I mean, that's, that's all That's all Mega Blast and Ipecac is. Just, it's just good. It's just it's very, very strong. And then last but not least, third most self-funded comment came, came in from Stone Grinder, uh, or Girder, so, who, Stone, Stone Girder? Yeah, Stone Girder, who said, the amount of power scares me. You can't be scared of it. You gotta you, you gotta own up to it. You gotta just be like, you know what? We've got we've got tons of damage. We're going to be able to to hit everything except well, including ourselves, but not like Pink Haunt. There we go. Curse of Blind. I'm actually just gonna just not go in there. And Curse of the XL. All right. So I see the game we're playing today, game. I see. So you're going to give us a Curse of the Blind on floor two and then Curse of the XL on floor three and four. Right after we voluntarily, by the way, didn't take our Devil Deal. So this is a guaranteed, pretty much, we're going to miss the Angel Deal on this floor and uh, have to wait till floor five. So... Is this the second run in the row that we've had a Curse the XL? Pretty sure it is, because didn't yesterday we have the the R key? Yeah. All right. So we're in here for the long haul. Uh, we'd love to get some mapping. You know, again, I already went over the the downsides of Curse the XL. I'm not going to beat a dead horse. Just know that it sucks. Um, you know, our stats are once again very good. To, our stats are. Very good to start with, but they're not good after pretty much this floor. Um, we're going to need some help. So, you know, the fact that we went from a curse to the blind of floor two and voluntarily skipped the item room, and then of course voluntarily skipped our devil deal, is uh, bad enough. But then to combine it with an XL floor is truly, truly horrific. So, and the chances of us having some kind of impactful. Uh, third and fourth floor here are greatly diminished just because of the, of the presence of the XL floor. As that is a, a lot of less opportunities for us to sort of catch up in the power curve. So there's the east side of the map, everybody. Go check this in here real quick. All right. Figure it might be to the right of here. Never mind. Just kidding. This is the one time we're going to have to really start to lean into Pogatory a little bit more often than normal. A lot of bombs here, even though I didn't take the matchstick, which is a little bit weird. Definitely could use some keys. I'm happy at least our movement speed is sufficient for early game here, but... You know, I, I, if we... Again, it's it's a matter... The, the curse of the XL floors are... It's a simple fact of lost opportunity. That's essentially the, the golden... That's my motto when it comes to thinking about the. That was the D. Oops, whoops! I meant to do the D twelve. Anyway, uh, that's my philosophy when it comes to like looking at Curse of the of the Labyrinth on a whole. It's just la it's just loss of opportunity. There we go. So no tinted rocks that I can see. That was kind of a weak D twelve. As you see, though, the D-Infinity up up on the top left, uh, it adheres to whatever die that you end up using. So since we use the D-12 and not the D-6, it only has a three-room cooldown as opposed to the six-room cooldown from the D-6. And, you know, the I, I maintain here that having the D-Infinity, at least it gives us an opportunity for forgiveness 
it can't it can't just create items out of thin air obviously so it's not going to be able to to undo like the the negative effects of a curse of the labyrinth but at least if we happen to get worse comes to worse we can at least re-roll right it, like in, in utter desperation it gives us a way out possibly <laughs> now of course that depends on the, the quality of the re-roll but yeah we find the shop before anything else Well, it's it's meme of the day time. Let's see us let's see if we can get double sister Maggie and Ocular Rift. Yeah. Gonna go ahead and re-roll that one. Thank you very much. Uh, I mean black candle at least it prevents us from having to deal with Curse of the Labyrinth again. Um we really really can only hope for would be a five room on this floor which would require us to do a, a full clear which i mean we're just going to do anyway obviously We're looking for the item rooms purgatory we need you to step it up here we need you to we need to get closer spawns now, this this far away crap needs to stop i mean you're a big time player like no one's gonna sit here and question your worth at work ethic son but uh we need you to, we need to stay close to the team here. There you go. There you go. Got to chain them together. A risky dodge there. I shouldn't have done that. Would have been much better just to go around the mushrooms. Eight bombs. We might as well try for it. And we are still looking for item rooms. This will have plenty of opportunity to re-roll. Okay. All right. Here's the boss room. Go check out the southeast side. That, I mean, southwest side. Who wants to see... Who wants to place a bet if the item rooms are adjacent from one another? That's the, that's the kind of trolling you can expect on a run that gives you a floor... Floor two, curse of blind. Floor three and four, curse of the of the labyrinth. Taking bets, taking bets. Get one bomb for two here. It's pretty good. See that purgatory does a adequate job of taking down these weaker, these weaker enemies. I should have taken the bet. And as dumb as it may, dumb as it may seem, to utilize purgatory like this, we kind of have to right now. Yeah. See that. We, we can't be taking, like, there's, don't get me wrong. Ice school baby, freezer baby. He's not bad. But this is one of those times where it's kind of like, mm, if we have a reroll, we need to be, we need to be, we, we can't be desperate. Like, we have to take premium items as, as much as we can. Now, we obviously are going to need to get a reroll uh, for the angel deal. Assuming we get one, I mean, we only have a black heart here, half of a, half of a black soul heart to uh, save us from losing our angel deal. We absolutely cannot lose that. As a full clear of the floor, and I will go back into the angel. Oh, okay. Gonna go get this rotten heart to save us from losing our angel deal, because again. 
We absolutely cannot lose our angel deal. Um, we're not going to... We're not going... I mean, we're, we're, I'm going to take Icicle Baby just because I'm not going to come back to the side of the floor. Um, it's unlikely we're going to get another another reroll. Don't be afraid to be very particular on the items that you're looking for when you have a reroll, right? You you are the one who is... It's a buyer's market, okay? You're going to be the one who has to be really, really stingy on what you take and what you, not, what you don't take. Because remember, rerolls are precious. And having the ability... Having the ability to change the game to say, you know what, this item sucks, give me something better is very, very, very valuable. Like a, look like a suspect secret room. It could also be here, although this would be one of the weirder spawns. Oh, okay. A very weird spawn. Feel a fortune, I'm just gonna put that down there so we can bomb it along with his keeper. Get money. Now there is that, there is the dice shard in the shop that gives us another reroll, which I will absolutely utilize here. You can go reroll the guillotine. I'm gonna buy the soul heart as well, just for safekeeping. But you know, this is this is curse of the XL here. We we need to get some kind of some kind of big time profit. Out of these uh, boss items and angel deal, otherwise it's not gonna be not gonna be good. That's here a font card here and a moon card. Go and take that to the next floor because obviously we are going we are going to use this dice shard before we leave this floor. That's that's just something that's going to happen. But here's what we need to keep up with Purgatory procs here because not only can Purgatory keep down the flames of Mega Maw, but also stop the ads. We just gotta catch we have to catch the fissures. Pretty much as fast as possible. Also, Purgatory can't do that toilet bowl thing. Regular old HP upgrade. And we're just going to be chaining Purgatory here. There's nothing in our way to stop us from doing this, so... Mega Fatty is not fast enough to really, to really effectively kite Purgatory that well. This is a constant source of pressure here that we get out of Purgatory, which, you know, that's the, that is the reason why it's Pogatory. It is a big time player. The AOE is significant. The damage can slowly but surely carry you. And we missed our, missed our Angel Dio. How about that? How about that? We do get a damage upgrade here. And uh, yes, we will. We will go into the curse room. See if we can get teleported to the angel deal. And if, if that doesn't work, then we'll have to go. I mean, we at least still have a reroll for, uh, for the guillotine. But uh, right there is a is a textbook reason why Curse of the XL is just so so bad, as we have effectively lost two floors worth of uh, chances for the Devil Deal. Mm. Sumptorium. Bad. I'm gonna take some Torium. It's this is one of the few times I'm not super excited about it though, because just because of how strong the D Infinity is. So it's this is again this is a, a, an oddity here, but some Torium is not the usual slam dunk as it normally could be. Given the fact that we've had we've already had some damage troubles here on this floor, we Sumptorium makes sense. But at the same time, not having a reroll, especially a, like a sort of like an out, we need to do a character reroll is also kind of kind of distressing in, in a little bit. 
But obviously, no one can, no one's going to discount the power of Suntorium. You know, Suntorium is just one of the best items in the entire game, if not the best space item in the entire game. We all know this. People get sick of me talking about Suntorium. You know, is Suntorium going to make this run safer? Absolutely. To a point. Like, we need to be careful with our HP, obviously, but we're able to effectively defend ourselves now. Um, and the lack of, the lack of, of stats is not necessarily as punishing as it could have been, as it, as it was. Um, and at least we have enough HP, enough red heart HP to allow us to recover those H, those, those red hearts as soon as we use them with some Torium and we get something back for them and we get a lot of power out of, out of it. So, oh yeah, we've already found it. So it's a reluctant some some Torium pickup here, but I do think it is slightly, and I mean very slightly better than sticking with the D Infinity. I mean very slightly. Uh, and immediately we get a, a secret room, uh, a secret room pedestal, which we could have re-rolled with, uh, the D infinity. And that is, that's just how, that's just how it be, you know? Wow. They just took out every single one of our bodies. Wow. One, one needle took out all of our bodies almost. And this is now where the weakness of Sumptorium is shown. That is, if you do not have the HP to reload your clot gang, like, because we're not, obviously, we're not Tainted Eve, then the effectiveness of Sumptorium drops dramatically um, because you're, you, you cannot replace the ones that get, you know, instantly yeeted by, say, oh, I don't know, maybe a needle spawning next to you. So as strong as Sumptorium is, it's not the perfect item. We are having to come up with some pretty creative uh, damage options here. And as much as I would love to fight the boss now, I'd much rather get some hearts first and get our Sumptorium, Sumptorium gang back. How to jump and telepathy for dummies are definitely not what we're looking for here. Just trying to look for a couple keys. That's yeah, funny game. I will use one of our two bombs just so we don't have to do that one. Yeah, this is this is not good. We're not in a we're not in a very good spot at all. Even with Sumptorium. And uh you know, if you if, if you needed to see why losing opportunities in this game is is dangerous, you know, look no further. Now, of course, we didn't have to use our HP for Sumptorium, but at the same time, we kind of did because our damage is just not great. As we get Leo is Definitely an item that exists. The Binding of Isaac. Repentance. Oh boy. All right. All righty. All righty. Well, we, uh, we have net gained, I think, one extra Claudi since we were here. And Sister Visses, unless we somehow freeze them, are going to be an absolute nightmare for our clot gang.
Oh, wow. Okay. Thought for sure she was going to be aiming down there. Blood clot, and let's see what our angel deal is. Was it worth the wait? <laughs> Not even close. Um, I guess we should go look for a sacrifice room here uh, with scapular at the very least. This is the, this is this, this, oh wait, no, we were already in this room where we first came in. We had the we had the flipped version of this room on the opposite end. Basically, now all I'm doing is just trying to clear for clear for red hearts. All right. Yeah, this is this is the scenario that I didn't want to be in with some Torium where we have we have some Torium but we can't use it and uh, you know t taking it over the taking it over the D infinity right now is definitely not the right play I think that is that is easy to see here but hindsight's always 2020 20. again we had to we needed to get something that can help us with our damage just because our stats are so I don't like our damage is is it's not, not I mean there's nothing good about our stats right now. Like our damage would be considered mediocre at best, I would say. If our if our tears rate was any higher, then I'd say that we it'd be okay until at the end of depths maybe, but that's assuming that we had like a bunch of clot gang buddies that could uh, help us out here. But we can't even get the red hearts to really drop all that much right now. So our saving grace is still going to be purgatory, I think. Chubb systematically just took down every single one of our clots. That is actually that is actually unbelievable. She perfectly sniped every single one of our clots. I was watching them. <laughs> All right, I uh, I think we're definitely in struggle bus territory here. This is a, this is not a, uh, not an ideal situation that we find ourselves in. And we are getting completely hamstrung currently by the fact that we have no red hearts to load some Torium with at all. I mean, we may have to turn into Lazarus the second just to get some type of damage. You know, Yumheart's great and all for, you know, Two two taps on Suntorium, but I mean that's it. Yeah, this this ain't good, y'all. This this really is not good. Of dead end here, All right? Go ahead and go on over here. Let's go check out this side of the map. All right.
Balatar is, uh, you know, Balatar is good. Another, another quality defensive upgrade. Well, unfortunately, there's no stats associated with it. Need, need, need stats. And you know what, game? If you're not going to give us stats, then just give us regular old HP at this point. Give us something we can work with here. I'll take the Locust of Famine just to give us some kind of anything right now to uh, help us out with crowd control. Yeah, that's what that's what Baltar is going to be good at as well. So if we get school bag, we can at least get some Torium Yum Heart. Which gives it provides us with uh, that provides us with something. And there's a temperance machine on this floor. But the problem is that we don't have any red hearts. Sacrifice room, we can at least tap infinitely thanks to thanks to uh, scapular. This is uh, this is this is slim pickings, y'all. There's our full card. And, uh, you know. God, it's a half red heart. Mana from the heavens. A gift from God himself. I mean, just think of the all the options we have now. This half red heart. Some, some good stuff. Oh yeah. We can't. I mean, we can't get. We cannot afford to get the school bag. So. We can go into the curse room, I guess, but we should go at least try to fight mom first. But without some Torium, we can't even get a soul heart. I'm going to say we can maybe get a soul heart from this tinted rock and maybe, maybe, maybe make a couple of, uh, couple of Sumptorium body buddies. Scapular did proc, so we get our full soul heart back. Purgatory, you okay? The scapular bonus is now gone. And in my gut, honestly, I'm I'm gonna I'm just gonna say this right now. In my gut, I I knew yeah. 
I knew that sticking with the D one, the D infinity when we had it, I knew that that would have been a better play. I straight up, I just, I had a feeling that we needed to stick with it. And uh, going back on it now, it's just kind of like, man, that sucks. We, you know, I, I don't know how much different this run would have been with the D infinity. But I can tell you one thing, I definitely would have re-rolled. <laughs> Would have absolutely re-rolled. Um, Scapular gives us our soul heart back. At this point, you know, even even after having a, a one-up in Lazarus's rags, that's not going to save us very much. Kind of desperate for any red hearts right now. Scapular will be a very important... It's going to play a very important role in this run. Now that being said, Scapular is not going to proc off of the... Uh, off of the Temperance Machine. But the Polaroid will. Cannot reach that. I mean, I, I really want to get, really want to get Yum Heart. Okay, we got our half Red Heart back, which maintains Polar Invincibility. We got to go get Yum Heart, or no, we got to go get the School Bag and then get Yum Heart. Super Lust. Get a a re-roll here, a judgment re-roll, which yeah, we could use this on we could use this on Yumheart, but Yumheart is Yumheart is, is honestly going to be like one of the biggest time players we can think of. Uh, I mean, maybe Super Magnet. It does attract enemies though, which is... Yeah, so we have Yum Heart, we have Sumptorium. It's a good combo. It's just a matter of us living long enough to actually utilize it. Now, one thing I'm hoping for, obviously, is that we get a Devil Deal. We just need a Devil Deal or an Angel Deal with this Reverse Judgment card, plus getting enough money to actually utilize it. That could be our ticket out of, uh, out of here. So I'll tell you right. I'll tell you right now, y'all. This is this is looking bad. We're we're having to dig real deep here to to make this one happen. In before worst run of the year. Oh, it's good to know that petrified poop is there. Yeah, money money becomes important again in this run because of the reverse judgment card. In zero, we got zero tears up, so we got one damage up. That was a reroll, mind you. So we can start using Sumptorium here to try to get our DPS up. I know we have Petrified Poop over there, but... But basically every four rooms that we go into, we can... Was it frozen? I thought it was frozen. Every four rooms that we clear, we can get two Claudies. Another double chub. Hot gang, you gotta, you gotta stay next to me now. You can't get separated. A 
one time I've I've never wanted to see Red Hearts so badly. Red Hearts are our ticket out of this run as well. But our clot gang has got to stay with us. Okay, so Yum Heart's good. I think we wait for Sumptorium here. Didn't really care because the the spikes cannot hit uh cannot hit clock gang okay so this is the, i mean this is where we this is where we just run it get bookworm which is good first judgment card and hope for i mean honestly binge eater is the best item we can hope for right now I really, really didn't want to do that because it's because here's the thing is that glitch crown does not help us at all right now. All of our clots are dead again. Glitch crown is, is a help us later item. It, it's not a help us now item. And also there is the chance that I, that I, I mess up the, uh, I mess up the micro and not get an item that we want. But, you know, it's it's good and the bad. Like, you know, it was like I was saying it earlier. I was talking about the, the downsides of not having an opportunity. Glitch Crown is at least is an opportunity. It's on the opposite end of that of that argument. So we have an opportunity here to get something that can help us out finally if we get a payout. Okay, we it's we just go for basic HP. That's the only thing. We could go for Lost Soul, buddy. <sighs> if we take Lost Soul, buddy, he has the potential to give us an item on the next floor with that is influenced by Glitch Crown. Also, he could give us some Soul Hearts. So is that better? No, it's that's not that's not better than a. That's not better than a, a regular HP upgrade because because of Sumptorium and because of Yum Heart. Yeah, we just we take the we take the red hearts. We take the red heart. The dead end. Oh boy! All righty. There's the level, everybody, on the northeast side. Here's our double wide boss room. All right, here we go. What wondrous treasures await us here after Mr. Fred. Us in our one clot. a 75% deal with the angel and deal with the devil. We have to get tears here. And we really needed a devil deal.
There has been a record low of devil deals or angel deals on this run. And the whole reason why I picked up Glitch Crown was because I anticipated getting a devil deal on that floor when we could have rolled for something else. So really this run is this run is is a an example of of pure missed opportunity on on multiple levels. Including missing the I've screw it, I don't care. I don't know if that was good or not. We lost all the tiers that we just gained, basically. Um, we did gain movement speed. I can't see anything. Uh, we did gain uh, a full health, which is good for Sumptorium. I guess we take a guppy item here. Yeah, I'm excited. This is definitely going to pose a problem. We just lost half of our Claudies there. So at the very least, we can get back down to Polar Invincibility and get down to Scapular Range. Thanks to Sumptorium. And we're also getting damage because of it, because obviously we're creating clots. You're wondering why everything is speeding up, by the way, as the effect of the I'm excited pill. So this is as far as we can take some Torium for now. Without starting to get into the soul heart range. Take that back. I forgot that we had a charge on Yumheart. So ultimately this Yumheart combo with Sumptorium is proving to be the linchpin. Where in the world are you going, Pogatory? You okay? You, th you think we were in the other room or something, buddy? What in the world? So after a very, very, very long wait, we are finally going to get to see our angel deal or devil deal. I think. At this point, I don't know. Trying to clump up our Claudies together here. The slowing shots really screw up the, the timing. Yeah, all the clots are dead. My God, it is a devil deal. And I think we we have a chance to get Guppy here if I don't mess this up. And I really want Juice to Shadow too. We don't have enough bombs to make Juice of Shadow possible. We'll take a little horn. Get Guppy's paw. I think we just take Guppy's paw because we don't have any more red hearts. So we get Guppy. Oh, man. But... And, and don't get me wrong, Guppy's, Guppy's great. Can't believe we didn't get hit there. 
Yep, he's great. Don't get me wrong. But I wouldn't necessarily say that we're saved. Um, we can't really use Sumptorium a whole lot right now because we cannot effectively save and protect our HP. Our tears rate is gone. I mean, it, the, the, the tears up that we got from the golden pill or the tears up that we got from Mr. Dolly is all but gone now. Uh, we maintained maybe a quarter of it. Maybe a half of it, but... So what I'm trying to say is that the effectiveness of being guppy and having some Torium is greatly diminished by that by the fact that our tier, our fire rate is so low. 2.87 is, is abysmal at this stage of the game. So it comes down to what do we... I mean, when, you know, what do we do? Do we go full bore and use some Torium and just and throw caution to the wind? Um, or do we, you know, do the slow grind here and just hope that we don't have to end up using any of our nine lives? There's part of me that wants to rip some Torium. We it's we can't go half in, half out here. It has to be it, it's all or nothing. Um, we either lean so hard into the DPS from some Torium and guppy and hope that that's enough to take us take us all the way home or we lean we we hang back dude we hang back take our take our foot off the gas and uh, slow grind it all the way all the way to blue baby See how Isaac goes. I still have faith in, in Pogatory here. And just applying constant pressure here with Purgatory. Purgatory is especially good against Isaac because it cancels it cancels his shots out. Oh boy, we're making it. I'm choosing the slow grind method here. And oh man, zero tears ups and all this. I really want to go sharp straw here, but we need, I'm going to, I'm going to start using Semptorium. And honestly, I don't think lead pencil is the answer. I honestly think it's going to be mysterious liquid. If we're going to go heavy into Semptorium here, I'm going to wait until we get, until we basically go down to, to one and a half hearts. And we're going to supercharge some Torium. And we'll see if that's enough. If we, I mean, we have to keep our Claudi safe. But the only way... It, it's kind of like... Think of it Think of it this way. It's kind of like having compost. Like the new compost. You know, once you get compost rolling, then it's self-sufficient. It, it can always kind of replenish itself. And still hard carry, even when you don't have a lot of damage. Same thing kind of holds true with some Torium. If you can't protect your Claudis... It's because you don't have enough damage or your your position positioning is bad as whatever. The more Claudies you have, the easier it is to protect them, right? Because you're dealing more damage, you're killing things faster, so that's less opportunity for the game to kill them. 
versus you know we use we use some torium here we use some torium there and then we have this sort of minimal minimal core group of clotties like of two or three clotties that can very instantly just get yeeted by anything in the game and then we, we're back to square one we don't have an, we have no way of sort of catching up this way here is going to be shock and all we just get as many clots as we can and then hope that we can kill them before they can kill us that's kind of the logic here. And we still have Guppy's Paw in our back pocket. In case if we do a actually die, we can get back to three soul hearts and, you know, maybe grind it out. So I'm not worried about this one, but this will, I think, I honestly think that taking Mysterious Liquid was the best strategy for this, for this stage of the game here. We instantly go up against a... Bunch of bosses that can't be affected by it. All right. I'm trying to utilize our range here. straight to blue baby I mean we went straight to blue baby I'm gonna get one more full charge on the satanic Bible so we can rip some torium I think we are going to be able to do it it was uh it was a saga as the aussies say it was an absolute mission but i think we ended up pulling through at the very end now do i think that staying with the d infinity would have made this run better absolutely i i to me there's no doubt in my mind but at the same time at the very end when it counted sumptorium it was the combination of sumptorium Plus getting all the soul hearts from Guppy's paw, plus getting Guppy, which saved the day. So would we have gotten that? Would it have been easier? Would we have gotten it without Glitch Crown? I don't know. That's the kind of stuff that you have to post in the comments down below. Let me know your question of the episode. Did you play the seed? If you did, did you roll that secret room and what did you get inside of it? Let me know in the comments down below. We got there eventually, but man, it wasn't it wasn't without its struggle. So thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you click that like button. 3,000 likes is what we're trying to get to so we can maintain the like streak goal as we make our way towards the TM Trainer Run. Have a good early start to your weekend, everyone. And as always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Three Fourths, Happy B-Day Nash, and Dershooty01. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com slash Invicta. 